This is my magic loop sample of my toe up sock and I've now reached the point where I want to start the short row heel shaping. For a more detailed explanation about short row shaping, if you watch the demo which is on two circular needles, I explain a little bit more in that video. So I've worked across the first half of the sock and I'm about to work for the second half of the sock back towards my beginning and end round marker. The heel is worked only on half the stitches and I'm just going to work back and forth across these stitches that I'm about to work now. So I bring up my needle so that I can start and I knit across to the last stitch on the left needle. I've got one stitch left on my left needle and I've worked all the other stitches. I'm now going to turn the knitting around. And with the... Sorry, I might just need to flip this round so I get the loop out of the way. I'm now going to pull back across the same group of stitches. But to start with, I need to make what's known as a German double stitch. So I'm going to slip the first stitch on the left needle to the right needle purlwise and pull the yarn over the top of the right needle and then around between the needles to create a double stitch. And now I'm going to purl to the other end of this group of stitches. So that's the one stitch left at the end of the purl row. So I leave that stitch on that needle and I'm now going to turn the knitting around again. And at the beginning of the row I have to make my double stitch. So I'm going to slip with the yarn at the front. I'm going to slip the stitch purlwise from the left to the right needle and then pull the yarn over the top of the right needle to create this double stitch. And then I can knit across to the double stitch at the other end of this group. Of stitches. So as I'm coming to the end I've got the last stitch which I didn't work, the double stitch and the last two stitches. I again turn my work once I've got up to the double stitch and with the yarn at the front I'm going to slip the first stitch purlwise from left to right needle. This time pull the yarn around the back and then between the needles so that I can purl across to the double stitch at the other end. So I've come up to the other end. I've got my original stitch that didn't work, wasn't worked. My double stitch. I've got one more stitch to work. So I've now worked up to the double stitch. Turn the knitting around. Bring the yarn forward. Slip the stitch purlwise from the left to the right needle and pull the yarn 
over the back and then work again back to the double stitch at the opposite end. You're going to gradually do fewer and fewer stitches until you get to the point where you've got a set number of stitches in the centre. So for me that will be six stitches on this mini sample. For you, you will need to look at the instructions in your pattern which will probably be 12 or 14 stitches. When you come to counting your stitches that are still in work, you must make this double stitch first before you start counting across to see how many stitches you have in work. So you need to keep working one less stitch each time and making a double stitch until you're down to the number of stitches you need for the top of your short row heel. And then we're going to need to learn how to increase and make our rows longer again. So when you've got to that point, I'll see you again.